me. Babe! Can you pretty please do me a huge, giant, huge favor and go to the store and get me coffee creamer? We're out, and that basically means my life is over. <laughs> Husband. Tiffany. No. <laughs> I'm already running late for work. <laughs> Can't you just run to the store? Please note at this time a giant ass side eye and bitchy pause is given to husband. <laughs> Me. Well, I could go. I'll just need to get dressed, which can be somewhat problematic these days because nothing fits me, and the things that do are probably covered in diarrhea and boogers. <laughs> or they're wet in the washing machine since I've probably forgotten to move my clothes to the dryer for the seventh time this week. <laughs> Once I'm dressed, and have prayed to every god there is that I don't run into another mom from preschool because I look like crap, <laughs> I chase both of the kids down in an attempt to make them use the potty, at which point I begin to get that really annoying forehead sweat. <laughs> then I physically force them onto the toilet while they scream for five minutes each. After they have finished screaming at me repeatedly about how they do not have to potty and their vagina isn't working, I attempt to wrestle them into submission to get them dressed. They like to run from me at this point, giggling, thinking that my screaming, please come get dressed, please, is just a hilarious little game that I like to play. Eventually, I'll convince them into their clothing. This is when the 15-minute search to find one of their undoubtedly missing shoes. Where is the damn shoe? I just saw the shoe this morning. Who took the freaking shoe? <laughs> Eventually, I find the missing sneaker under a pile of cars underneath the kitchen sink. When I begin to smell something, Ruby will have shit her pants during the hunt for the shoe. <laughs> so now I've got to put her in the bath and rinse out every nook of her poop-filled vagina. <laughs> oh, and she needs new clean clothes now and a towel that doesn't smell bad. Good luck, right? Well, eventually, Jude will have gotten bored waiting for Ruby to be finished with her bath, and I find him watching My Little Pony, to which he will flip out about having to turn off. He will scream about how he doesn't want Star, and he wants ponies, and Princess Baby Love Sparkle Fairy Pinkiness Adorableness is on. <sighs> feeling, is all, feeling, as though almost, feeling as though almost all hope is lost that I will ever press a warm cup of coffee to my exhausted lips. I will begin to scream both children into submission in order to get them out the front door. The kind of yelling you do while simultaneously thinking, I sound crazy. I sound like that crazy woman with too many children and bad hair on TLC. I wonder if the neighbors have their windows open. Try hard not to swear. I try really hard not to swear. You are normal. I'm the worst mom ever now. They know it, I know it, but coffee. So to punish me for turning off the TV, Jude will run straight towards the street in an attempt to give me a heart attack. I will scream at the top of what is left of my lungs for him to stop. Oh, he will stop. Stop to laugh, because of course that's funny when you're a four-year-old sociopath. <laughs> now I must chase both children into their car seats, which they hate, while they scream and whine some more about My Little Pony and how I'm ruining everything ever. On the ride over, the children will fight about which song to listen to, and someone's touching someone else's godforsaken arm or some other ridiculous accusation. 
Upon grocery store parking lot arrival, I won't be able to find a parking spot. No! Even when I do, some spoiled, childless, perfect ass 16-year-old will steal my parking spot. <laughs> so I've got to park 0.3 miles away from the entrance now, which normally, not a big deal. Except for that I get to walk through said parking lot with two snot-faced, screaming toddlers yelling, you're hurting me, mama! Stop! <laughs> While the elderly cast down looks of shame onto my tattooed body. <laughs> By the time I get into the grocery store, 1.5 hours later, <laughs> I will come to find out that they are out of coffee creamer. <laughs> and then I die. <laughs> Do you want me to die? <laughs> Moment of silence. Husband silently picks up keys and leaves to get coffee creamer. Returns 10 minutes later. Thank you.